sugars i am sister slayash and welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome for the very first time if you are a member of the family welcome back it's always good to see you all i am here today and i'm late this is a very 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 late upload it has been a busy fun um not not hectic in a bad way but a really good holiday uh i had an excellent christmas me and my significant other spent our very first christmas together we bought in our very first new year together it's a bunch of firsts and i'm so happy like when i tell y'all i am so happy with this man i love him to a thousand and three pieces so if y'all want to like come for somebody and fight somebody because I've been absent, <laughs> blame it on my boo. I'm sorry, y'all. We just been, we just been living the dream. We just been living the dream. Not trying to be braggadocious or anything like that because I promise you, um, it wasn't what I was expecting as far as like I, I wasn't even looking to meet somebody. So, uh, fingers crossed. Knock on wood things stay the way they are and we just keep enjoying each other. So, um, I also got a lot of the collection late and I got it like in bits and pieces. So it was hard for me to review the whole collection um, because well, I never did get everything, but even the pieces that were ordered, some were gifted to me. It was just like, I was piecemealing the whole time. I have been using the products I really love the color story. Now, I'm gonna be fully transparent every time with my reviews, and I'll let you know if it's worth it or if it's not. I don't play games with people's money because I don't play games about mine. Um, the color story itself, it's very, um, it's nothing that we haven't seen. The thing about makeup right now, it's all been said, it's all been done. No matter which brand, everybody, you know, how many reds can you have, how many nudes can you have, and so on. But the beautiful thing about the collection, of course, if you are a Whitney, I mean a Whitney Houston fan, I said Whitney, I can't talk. Um, a Whitney Houston fan, this will be a really cute collector's collection for you. I mean, the packaging is very, very, very cute. Um, it's, you know, black and gold. It goes with the uh, movie that came out, uh, Dance With Somebody. Um... I really think the packaging is adorable. Um, now also, like I said, the color story is really good. This is a cool tone collection. If you're not really into the cooler tones, this may not be the collection for you. However, what I do like about the collection is the fact that it's a cool tone collection that looks good on deeper skin tones. It's very hard to find a cool tone collection that don't make us women of color look so this is the one that doesn't make us look ashy. So what I'm going to start with is the eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette is called Whitney's Nippy Iconic Palette. And it's really pretty. The colors in there are called Nippy Sand Dust, Nippy Talk, Nippy, I'm going to talk Dust, Nippy Chestnut, Nippy's Grape, Nippy's Platinum, Nippy's Melon, Nippy's Crease, and Nippy's Noir. Um, a lot of nippies there. Um, hopefully I don't get demonetized or like flayed because I'm saying nippies if not pimples. But this is the eyeshadow palette here. These are the colors. As I mentioned, you can see these colors kind of give you a little cool tone here. Um, but they're very pretty. It is a mixture of textures, but not that many. It's only eight colors in there. Um, the only two that are not matte are the nippies platinum and the nippies grape the rest of them are matte shades and what i do like about the shades in this palette they are opaque and they do blend very well and i'm going to start by applying a couple swatches so um i'm just going to swatch them all and just tell you which ones are which as i go down you know my arm just to make the video a lot quicker because i know that they're already uh, reviews up on this collection and I am running a little late but there was still requests to review it and any way I can help you out as far as finding help you find what you want to purchase I'm gonna do that so I'm swatching them on my arm 
right now so you can take a quick peek at them. So these are the swatches here. I'm gonna move over here a little bit. So these are the swatches. And we're gonna start from my left, well my right, all the way to the left. This swatch here is Nippy's Sand Dust, followed by Nippy's Taupe Dusk. Then we have here Nippy's Chestnut, which is a very pretty brown. We have Nippy's Grape, Nippy's Platinum, Nippy's Melon, Nippy's Crease, and Nippy's Noir. Now what's so crazy about the Nippy's Grape, the Nippy's Grape is more gray. So if anything, I would have thought it'd be like Nippy's Gray um, and not Nippy's Grape. Like they should have named Nippy's Crease, which is this one, Nippy's Grape. And if you look closely, you can see the shimmer and the Nippy's Platinum. And you can see a little of that shimmer in Nippy's Crease. So those are the eyeshadows. They are a pretty nice size. And this palette definitely leans more neutral. Um, you have some of your colors in there that are a little more dramatic. But this is definitely a neutral palette and a smoky palette. This palette would make a very nice smoky eye. And I love the Nippy's Noir. As y'all mentioned, I mean, as I always mention, I get tired of seeing carbon. I don't have a problem with seeing a black eyeshadow. Just stop giving me carbon. So this is not carbon and it's not as dark as carbon, but it's a really pretty dark eyeshadow. I got a really nice liner uh, made with it. I just took a little smudging brush and just lined around the top lid and the bottom lid. It's kind of run a little bit where I made my allergies. It's allergy and honey. So that's the eyeshadow palette. The next thing that I have here is the Jess Whitney Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is a highlighter. Um, and another thing with highlighters, same thing. <laughs> We've seen them all. <clears throat> We're about tired of highlighters, right? Um, this one's really pretty. As far as the color itself, not the most impressive thing. It's not anything that we haven't seen before, but it's really pretty on deeper shades. So um, that is the highlighter. It's a very pretty gold, and I have it here on my cheeks. And I haven't been wearing this highlighter a lot, not because I don't like it, it's really pretty, but because I have a lot of highlighters that are similar to this. And I'm trying to pan those first and stop opening up new products that I'm not done with the other ones yet. So I haven't been using this a lot because I have other highlighters, okay? But it's still a pretty color. Now, I picked up two lipsticks. The other lipsticks really weren't for me. They were frost colors and some were like cream sheen colors. But the two that I have are Nippy's Moody Nude and Nippy Sensual Red. I am wearing the Nippy Sensual Red. It is a very pretty deep matte red. It's not dark dark. It still has a little brilliance to it. Now on the lip itself, it's a lot uh, brighter than how it looks in the tube. So I'm gonna swatch it here. It's way more brighter than you would expect it to be than in the tube. But this is a very beautiful classic deep red. This red will flatter any skin tone. Um, it does have like a little bluish brown as an undertone. It's not a bright yellow red or a bright orange red. It's definitely a cool, clean, blue brown red, if that makes any sense. Now, the other color that I picked up is Nippy Sensual. I mean, Nippy, I said Sensual. Nippy's Moody Nude, which this one is a cream sheen. As y'all can see, I have been getting my wares out of this color. I usually gravitate towards neutrals, and if I don't do neutrals, I'm wearing reds. So this collection really did speak to me because the lip colors I'm usually in, neutrals or reds, and this collection was loaded with both. So I had quite a bit to pick from, um, but this is the Moody Nude. It is a cream sheen. As far as cream sheens go, they're not my favorite formula, only because they're so soft and they're very easy to break. You have to be careful with them. But it is a very pretty rosy type nude. It has like a a pinky mauve thing going on for the undertone. This looks good on, uh, I would say, any skin tone that's probably between NW40 and up or NC44 and up. Any other ones, it may wash you out, but you'd probably put the, the, the right liner on with it. 
Um, this does look good with the World Lip Liner, Chestnut Lip Liner, and also uh, the Sword Lip Liner. The Sword helps it pick up a little more pink. Other lip liners I tried, I wasn't necessarily fake. Oh, and Plum. It looks really good with Plum Lip Liner as well. So these are the two lipsticks that I picked up. There were two other lip colors that I just, they didn't really speak to me. They weren't bad, they were pretty, but they just didn't speak to me because they were frost. Or I may have had something that was so close to it till I was like, you know what, who needs this, right? So the next two things that I picked up are the glosses. Um, I have one of them on now. It's the Nippy Shimmery, Sim Shimmery Cinnamon. And I like this. Like, it's a really pretty gloss. It has, like, an iridescent, like, reflex to it. And I usually don't wear colors like this, y'all. The only other color I had that I wore that I really liked, that was kind of like this, was the Taraji P. Henson. Other than that, I really don't be sold on these. But this one was different. It looks amazing by itself. And it looks really pretty on top of browns and reds. And that's what it looks like by itself. It's very opaque. It's very neutral. I'll pretty much tell you this. If you like the MAC lipstick called O, you will absolutely love this. And if you have chinks, which a lot of people don't have chinks, you know, chinks is kind of was discontinued. So if you have chinks, it's probably really old. But if you like these, like you like O, you like chinks, or even Icon or, um, creme de la femme this would look amazing as a topper or just something if you like that color but you want more gloss this is definitely the way to go looks amazing on deep skin tones amazing um the next one is the nippy shimmery gold and <laughs> i'm i know i don't even know the shimmery gold i know i know but I go through these like snack cakes. I go through these like snack cakes because um, you can't really go wrong with them. They look good on everybody. Um, you've seen them one, you once you've probably seen them all, but this is what it looks like swatched. And it does pick up a lot of that shimmer, but it still looks good, you know, by itself and with a liner. It doesn't really matter how you wear this. This could be a nice topper or one by itself. It's lighter than Oh Baby, and the glitter shows up a lot more. I would say the closest thing to compare this to is Very Go Lightly. If you have Very Go Lightly, and you know you just really like Very Go Lightly, you don't necessarily have to have this. You can skip out on it. But if you want to kind of expand your range of shimmery gold lip glasses, this one is not a bad one to add to your collection. The next two things that I picked up are the blushes. I picked up both of them. I love blushes. And in my opinion, these new collections, they don't have enough blushes. They have highlights, eyeshadows, lip glosses, lip liners. But they never really, not lip liners, lipsticks. They don't really have lip liners. Um, and they don't really have nice blushes. I would say the last collection that uh, launched a lip liner was the Tayana I mean, not not including the holiday collections, but the Tayana Taylor. That was the last one that released the lip liner that we hadn't really seen before. Um, which, it was a re-promote of HodgePodge. But it's been like 15, 20 years since we had HodgePodge. So, I mean, that was worth re-promote, right? So, I have Nippy's Plum Rose, which is what I have on now. Y'all, this blush has become one of my absolute favorites. I love deep plum blushes like this in the fall. Um, now, there are no rules to makeup. You can wear whatever you want to wear, whatever you want to wear. But this is definitely a beautiful fall blush. Looks good, in my opinion, on everybody. If you have lighter skin, you know, a fairer skin tone, very be very light-handed. This blush is very pigmented. And the beauty of it is very reminiscent of Max old formulas it kind of reminds me of um magenta and you mix it with the color called koi girl you mix those together and this is what you come up with um they no longer make neither one of those so i used to mix magenta and koi girl and i used to get a color similar to this so this is why this blush i had to have it so the final oh i gotta i gotta swatch it y'all y'all i'm tripping i'm tripping 
So let me swatch it for you. It does have her uh, signature embossed there, which I think is really cute. So that's the blush. Not as deep or as intimidating as it may appear in the pan, but it's really pretty. Now, the last one that I purchased is the Nippy's Pink Rose. This blush is very pretty. I will see myself wearing this more like in the spring. Um, it's like that peachy pink. When it comes to like peachy pink anything or anything peach, I already have that base covered with peaches. Peaches is probably like my most favorite blah, blush of all time. So I, I can't tell you how many peaches blushes I don't went through, child. But this is the pink rose. Um, kind of a peachy pink. But as y'all can see, I've kind of already lost a lot of that signature there. Because I have been wearing this collection. Um, and there's that. It's like a soft pink, but it does warm up and gets heavier as you build it up on the skin. And this looks good on lighter, uh, lighter complexions. Um, but yes, um, I love the collection. And I really, it's been a while since MAC launched a collection that I use at least one piece of it every day. This collection I have been using since I've had it in my possession. I've been using a piece of it every day, be it the um, lip glosses, the the blushes, lipsticks, nah, not so much. Not because I don't like them, because again, I have way more stuff that I need to be using. The, the highlighter, not so much, because I have other highlighters I'm trying to pan, and with the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna tell you, the two eyeshadows I use the most in this pan, I mean, this palette, I use this one here and this one. Those are the ones I've been using the most, and I will probably pan this eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I'm leaning a little closer. I mean, I have not already been dipping, like like really dipping off in there. Um, and I know it's, it has taken a while to get this review out here. However, this is like, my reviews are always honest. I'm telling you my opinion. I'm wearing the product, but I've been wearing this product for almost a month now, and I absolutely love it. The collection i recommend it i feel that it's worth your money um you know i don't think everyone should have to buy everything because more than likely you have some stuff similar to this at home but whatever you feel that just speaks to you even if you just want one piece that's as a collection a collector's item i say go for it so i give this collection thumbs up there wasn't anything of any what weird or funky wonky product formulas thank you god because the black panther collection pissed me off girl it pissed me off they just played too much they played in my face and they played in our bank account so um they didn't they kind of stayed try and true and stuck to some formulas that definitely work um so yeah if you have picked up the collection because like i said i know this is late if you have have the collection let me know what pieces you have if you don't have it let me know what pieces you're considering getting. Nothing's really sold out, that's the good thing. And more than likely, I give it probably like a month, not even a whole month. This is probably gonna be on the goodbye. So honey, if you ain't got it now, don't even rush. Wait and say your coins, cause I ain't gonna do nothing but mark this shit down anyway. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be having some more content coming. Also, the Ceramizer review, I'm going to, um, I already filmed it. I just got to edit it and get it out there. Um, I've been using the Ceramizer for several months because as a former employee, they gave us the product, um, to use. It was a really, that launch is a really big deal. They only gave us the Ceramizer. I don't understand why they didn't give us the whole collection. Not me trying to be entitled, but if y'all launch a new skincare product, I mean, especially if you want us to sell it like that, let us know, like, you know, give us the whole collection. That, and that whole thing was a mess. We didn't even know it was coming. I had moved. my. I was living with my parents when I first started working at Mac. So that address that was on file had been on file forever in a day. And I even changed my address and they sent it to my old address. It was a whole mess, but um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll be bringing y'all more content. Um, I will not be purchasing a lot of more new matte collections. 
um for one my discount is not working like it should and then for two i am inundated i have more makeup than i could possibly need it is a problem around here um i'm gonna review a lot of the products that i already have um because i have a lot of products that don't get talked about so i'm gonna be reviewing some of everything from beauty skin care freaking food you name it I'm gonna be getting those reviews out there so people can know if it's even worth their time or their dime. Yeah, so I know that was a lot. I know this video was long. I know it was just, a, it was too much. But I love y'all and I appreciate y'all for y'all's patience. Oh yeah, and I was sick, honey. It was just so much going on. <sighs> but I'm happy to be back. Um, been debating if i want to start doing some blogs or vlogs i don't even know if y'all even find my life interesting enough to even share those things with you uh and and y'all my life is very interesting and i know everybody thinks their life is interesting but my life is very interesting and quite entertaining to say the least um but yeah um we had a awesome time we went out to lake tahoe we went back to San Francisco. We go to San Francisco like all the time. Um, we just had a good time. We had a good time. And I'm looking forward to way more. And I'm wishing you all those things as well. And I hope that y'all got y'all New Year's started right. And whatever New Year's resolutions or uh, goals that y'all had, I hope that y'all are on track to accomplish those. And if you want to know uh, my tips on how I accomplish my goals or you need help staying true to your New Year's resolution, please do not hesitate to go and watch my video. I did a video and this was just, um, just some girl game on what you can do to accomplish your New Year's resolutions or whatever goals you have in 2023. It doesn't have a lot of views. Um, I know I'm not known for those type of videos, that type of content, but it's still some gems and knowledge. The girl has been around for a minute and whatever I have that can help people, I always share it. So love you all, be safe, happy new year. And I will see y'all soon. Bye, Boo Sugar. Bye, this son, bitch. Bye, this son, bitch. <laughs>